Hi right, everyone, thanks for joining me again, Gav from Gav Tarantulas. Um, after doing some just general maintenance, I've come across um, this one here, which is Harry, my Acanthus Scurria Jenna Colata, and he has been doing some work in his house, but um, I need to change it, it's got mould in there, so this is one fang Harry, so I need to literally get him out change over his enclosure and then put it back in so it's all neat and tidy and fresh again so let's crack on with that so i don't know if you can see in there there's like loads of mold inside it's where he takes all his carcasses and he seems to leave them in there so i need to get that out and change down here but i don't want to disturb him too much so leave that there See if I can just get him to come off. Come on, buddy. Come on. Get all this out. It's all stuck to his webbing. Now this one now, obviously I've named him Harry, but naming him One Fang Harry now because he had a bad molt again and lost his pedipalp and um, also his fang as well. So it was still hanging on there, but he just literally somehow managed to work it off and detached his fang. So I'll see if I can show you what it looks like in a minute. Just get some of this out. The substrate's all fresh and clean and a bit more moist, which he won't like, but he will stay on top of his house once I put that back in. There we have it, fresh substrate. See if I can get him to come down. Come on, buddy. Come on out. Come on. There we go. Let's get some fresh water in for him. Is my little <laughs> mixture of springtail substrate if you can see them all crawling around in there they're doing really well in this one so i'll just help out any mold that's all you need i'm not sure if he will eat but we can certainly try no, he's completely not interested, so he's backing off. So that is uh, one fan Harry, my agen. I absolutely love this one. Had it from very, very tiny, but not sure if I just zoom in. There you go. You can see on um, it's his left. Um, fang and obviously the paddy palp's missing but um, it doesn't stop him feeding though he has eaten the other day so he normally takes a few but I think because I've just gone in and adjusted his enclosure and cleaned it out a little bit he's not too happy but um, it doesn't stop him eating at all but his growth rate has slowed right down because it took him I think six months plus um, to fill out and re- molt and grow back both legs and then he broke a paddy palp grew that back 
Uh, then he's been okay for several months and then he's had a bad molt about three months ago and lost his pedipalp again, which is the other one, and now damaged his fangs. I just don't know what it is with this one, but every time he molts, he gets issues. Um, so when I notice he's going to go into molt again, I think I'm going to keep an eye on him for the next one because the bigger they get, the more difficult their molts. Um, but he's still feeding, still drinking. I regularly uh, catch this one going to his um, water dish and drinking, so more than normal, which is um, probably uh, a reason with the malt. So um, at least it's still growing and good, but I've got a um, special place for this one. This one really, really, I, I love it. So and I've named it Harry, but I'm not sure if it's a male or female. I've got no idea because he absolutely destroys the malts. And uh, I never I never actually see the final bit when it comes out for a malt to take it. So hopefully the next one I'm going to keep an eye and then find out. Because I've got a feeling it could be a female. But uh, I'm hoping so. But um, I'll let you know when we find out on the next one. But there's my agen. Quick look at that one. And um, yeah, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.